labs.net. Okay, so I want to show you some tips and tricks that I picked up when it comes to designing um, GUI based uh, applications in C++ using WX widgets. Okay, so what I am using right now is I've shown this before in the past uh, WX, sorry, Code, code Light. And I'm just playing around with this one project called WXC Hello Frame. And what we're doing is, uh, if you decide to create a new project, let me just show you how to do it. So you do a right click here. I'm using this WX Crafter. This is a pay commercial plugin, I guess. It's part of a code light. It's like 35 bucks. It's very cheap. And the cool thing about it is if you, let me just show you that again. And here, create new project. So I think I've walked you through this step. So either you're gonna create WX frame or WX dialog using this WX crafter. Now I've got this one project here created and uh, this works fine in Ubuntu for in my 14.04 with a virtual machine, and it seems to work okay. I tried this with uh, co um, Code Light on Mac OS 10, and it just it's just it, there's all kinds of weird problems with path and regarding the WX config. So I haven't had any problems so far with the Linux version. So just want to make the, sure that you understand that. Now in here we have the workspace, but here we have WX Crafter, uh, I think it's a perspective, like in Eclipse. So in here we have this XRC, which is some um, way to, uh, uh, kind of like XML, but I don't think we need to worry about that. We just want to worry, really worry about the C++ side uh, only. And then there's this designer. The designer is the cool part um, because here, if I maximize this window, I guess I can't, maybe I can, no. Okay, so let me just uh, shrink this down. Okay, uh, oh, there we go. Okay, um, so we've got this form here, which is a, uh, a frame. Now there is a way to keep this in perspective. I just can't remember how to do it, but it can be done. Now, when you add, excuse me, your controls. So we have here um, a radio box. We have a, um, a, and here we have a button. We've got a, a text, um, text static library. And here you can also have your label and some other properties, uh, no different than Visual Studio or any other uh, visual uh, rapid application development environment. And basically what you can do here is you can co-generate. So let's say if I add in one of these other elements here, um, I don't know, I'm just gonna pick off, I can do an HTML Mendo text control. Um, yeah, let's do a, little, a list box. No idea how to, I'm still learning all this. There we go, I guess I did something. I added it, yay. Um, so there's gonna be no so I guess we can add our individual choices here. So let's put choice one. Uh, we'll add a second choice. Let's see here. Okay, so we'll do choice one, choice two, choice three. Something like that. Okay. So we've got all those picked off and we can add in our events and stuff as well. Uh, I'm still learning this, but I just want to show you some of the tip, tips here. So we've got that. Now we can co-generate 
our code. I think this should work. Okay, so code generation completed. Um, reload, modify, choose, reload all external modified files. So we'll do that. So if we go into here, um, and then we go back to our workspace, uh, I think if we can do a, some form of a build here, let's see what happens here. Okay, so it's now building. As you can see these little dots, it's building using this compilation. And after that, once it's successful, because within a Linux out of the box, this is ready to go, but with the Mac OS X version, it wasn't just the paths, with, like I said, the WX config wasn't able to be found. That's the current version of uh, CodeLite. So um, I know there's a new version out but uh, I guess we're using code light 9.1. So while um, she's still compiling, we have um, four source files. We have two uh, header files. So our compilation is complete, zero error, zero warnings. Um, our new code, I believe, gets uh, added. See, so here's our new list box that gets defined. And I'm still trying to find the uh, actual source code for that. So I guess it's going to be in WX crafter. Um, but uh, somewhere in here, it will add the list box. So here's our reference to our static text. I guess our list box will somewhere be in here. There we go. So these, this is the code that we just added uh, that get, we automatically generate using what we just did. So knowing that our build is okay, I guess the next step is obviously to run it. So we do file. I know you do control F5. So I'm just going to do execute. So there you go. There's our new uh, list box and all our elements. Like I said, I gotta figure out all this better way of designing it. Um, but, uh, you know, I think we've got, I don't wanna say a winner, but we've got something going here. Now, another option I am, as I'm getting used to this, is I wanna put this into release mode and let's see if we can run it off the command in the terminal so I'll do another build but this time we put switched it to um, to the release mode right here so I'm just gonna rebuild it just uh, open up another new oh, I guess I can okay so if I go into um, can't even remember where the folder is. Test. Let's see if it's somewhere in here. Uh, let's see. In the meantime, settings. Okay, intermediate directory project name. Can you remember the where the folder is for this? Okay, so we know that this will run. Wish there was a run option in here. Uh, I'm sure I'll get better at uh, navigating through this. So we'll do an execute. Okay, so that's running in release mode. Cool. So where are we? Okay, so here is, I'm gonna do a little find on this. Okay, let's 
So we're going to sudo find name. Okay, let's see if we can find it. So it looks like it found it pretty fast. So we want to go into home, cpp, cpp, wx, frame, test frame, wxc, hello world. And then we do a release. So there is our new bin file, xc, now we can run it, there you go. So that's pretty cool. Um, now it's just a matter of improving on the cosmetics of the designer in our WX Crafter. Okay. So we can regenerate our code and up here we just jump into our WX Crafter with the C++ code here as well as the um, designer as we've talked about. Okay, the other thing is WX Ribbon. Uh, I'm going to play around with that and see what we come up with. But I am pretty sort of happy about it. Uh, it's going to pay 35 bucks for the WX Crafter outside of my trial mode, but so far it's all good. Hopefully I'll help you out. Talk to you later.